Okay, I'm gonna make this really quickly because of, ooh, I'm gonna have to make it really quick. So basically, um, if you guys haven't already seen, um, chapter uh, eight of um Dragon Baka Girl X Memory Listener should come out really soon, uh, hopefully. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this. Bye. It was finally the weekend. You got up and went to take a shower before you started your day by yourself. When you got out of the shower, you changed and checked your phone. Seven missed calls from birth giver. Hmm. You hardly dialed your mother's number, taking, thinking she might be in trouble. Hey, sweetie, why didn't you answer my calls? Mom, are you okay? What happened? <laughs> Nothing. I just wanted to tell you that your father and I will not be home until next month, since we have more work to do here anyways. Let us know whatever you need. Anything. Love you. Beep. You placed your phone down and gave a little sigh. Ah, alone again. Hmm. Nope. That means I have a whole month to myself. Now, I don't even know what to do. Plus, Uraka went out with Midoriya, which sucks because I'm all alone. Your house was quiet and you had nothing to do. Just lay on your bed when all of a sudden a vibration from your phone erupted your thoughts. It was a message from Kirishima. Kirishima. Hey, Yin, what you doing? You. Nothing much, just lying on my bed. Kirishima. Oof. Uh, you maybe want to hang out today? You. I would love to. Kirishima. Sweet. Maybe the park at 2 p.m.? You. Kaya, bye. Kirishima. Okay, see ya. You faced your clock. It was only 9. And going on to 10 a.m. soon. Oh, still four more hours till 2 p.m. Hmm. You rolled over su- side on your bed, su- stuffing your face in your pillow as you groaned in boredom. After what it seems like an eternity, you decide to clean your room for a bit. You rearranged your items in the drawer and wiped your table. You tried organizing your closet and also picked an outfit to wear for later. You then made your bed once again. Soon it was noon. Uh, I still have two hours left. Maybe I can watch some anime? You headed to your couch and turned on the TV. After a while, you checked your clock and it was already 1 p.m. Oh shit, I have to meet Kirishima at 2. Shit, I'm going to be late. You hurry, hurriedly took a shower and put on your sweater and jeans. That you grabbed. Grabbed your bag and put your boots on and headed out. Hey there, Yin. I thought you weren't going to come, Kirishima said when you got there. Oh, sorry, I was late. I lost track of time and had to run here. You said while gasping for air. Kirishima let out a small giggle and said it was fine. You two then headed to the nearby mall to cool off since you were sweating like mad from running. Anyways, what are you going to do? You spoke, breathing the sil- breaking the silence between you and Kirishima. Oh, but I was thinking we could watch a movie since I already bought the tickets. But it starts at 5 p.m., though. You felt bad since he already bought tickets for both of you, and you tried to give him mon- money to pay him back, but sadly he refused. Sheesh, I already told you it's my treat. Don't pay need to. You don't need to pay me back. You looked at him and asked whether you could pay for the snacks, but yet again he refused. Then you had no choice but to ask him what puppy dog eyes. Carrie, can I at least pay for the snacks? You said as he looked at you. Ugh, fine, you win. Kirishima's POV. Shit, why does she have to give me the puppy dog eyes? I couldn't resist, ugh. But to be honest, it was actually really cute of her to do so. Never knew she could do such cute thing. Ugh, my heart. Don't worry, Yin. You'll be mine soon. You and Karishima were just walking around the mall when suddenly you heard growling coming from behind you. You turned your head to see nothing but Kiri and figured out who was hungry. Hey, Kiri, you want to eat something? I heard that there's a new re- n- noodle restaurant that recently opened here. Karishima looked up at you with wide eyes and mouth <laughs> gape his head <laughs> shaking his head vigorously yes please 
You laughed, seeing his reaction, thinking it was quite cute. You both entered the restaurant only to be greeted by cold air from the air con- con- I'm so conditioner. conductor. You both took a seat and then flipped through the menu. Hey, Yin, what are you going to order? Um, I don't know. Maybe some ramen, I guess. Hello, may I take your orders now? Said the waiter. I'd like a bowl of... I'm going to butcher this name. Kagoshikama ramen, please. And I would like a bowl of Kurama ramen. Sure, anything else? Nope. You and Kirishima said in unison. After eating your ramens, you and Kirishima decided to walk around a bit more, since there was still an hour left until the movie starts. Hey, Kiri, why don't we buy some snacks to the movie later? Now? But there's still an hour left. He says, Kirishima was... We... Oh, sheesh, Kirishima. We can just buy it now, and we don't have to waste time buying it last minute. And plus, I want to snaggle and... Oh, sn smuggle and chips <laughs> you dragged kirishima to the supermarket and headed to the snack area and grabbed your chips hey kiri you going to get something not going to get something he looked at you and grabbed a piece of chips too and asked will this do since you're treating me and plus it's quite expensive you nodded your head and said it was all right since he paid for the movie tickets you and kirishima then headed to the counter and paid for snacks you and decided to walk around the mall since there was nothing to do. You checked your phone and it was already 5.50. You told Kirishima and decided to head to the cinema and watch that movie. That was a shitty movie. It sucks. You said pouting, pouting Kirishima couldn't help but laugh at your reaction. You looked at him and gave him a s s smack on the back. Hey, stop laughing at me. It's not funny. You said in annoyance. Your reaction's really cute, though. He said while giggling. You stare, started to blush a lot when he said that and decided to turn your face away from him. Aw, is someone blushing? Come on. Oh, I want to see how cute your face is. You turned around wanting to smack him, but all of a sudden, you and Kirishima's lips <gasps> accidentally met. You quickly stepped back and apologized. Oh, uh, Omji, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. You said, feeling embarrassed, you couldn't help but notice that Kirishima was smirking. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like a creep? He started giggling again by your reaction. Come on, now, let's just walk you back home. Let it's getting late. The journey back was sure really interesting because Kirishima was being all flirty and lovey-dovey. You can help the dart to fall for him. After what seemed like forever, he could finally, you could finally reach your house. Uh... Thanks for the walk. Thanks for walking me home, Carrie. No need to thank me. It's what I'm supposed to do as your friend for, for now. He gave you a wink and left. You entered your room and soon fell asleep. After a while, you just oh, not fell asleep. Sorry, fell on your bed. After a while, you decide to sleep, oh, bathe, and read. Soon, you started to doze. So you placed your book down and switched the lights off and. Soon fell asleep. Kirishima's POV. <laughs> she, look at that. My sweet little pebble is fast asleep. How cute. Let me just snap. There we go. Now I have a picture of her whenever I go. Isn't she just the cutest being on earth? I can't wait for her to be mine. My girlfriend. Oh, my sweet little pebbles all cuddled up in her blanket now. How adorable. It would be better if I could cuddle with her, though. <laughs> Anyways, I need to go home soon. If not, I'm going to get caught.